In Excel 2013, you can use a built-in feature to remove duplicates from a list. And here's a list with just one column, and it's got product names. And if I double click here, I can go right to the end, and there are over 800 items in this list, and they're all repeated several times. So I'm going to double click the border here to go back to the top. And I'd like to get rid of any duplicates and just be left with a list of the unique items from that list. When you use the Remove Duplicates feature, it doesn't leave the original list intact and create a new list with just the unique items. It works on the original list. So it's a good idea to make a backup before you start just in case you're not happy with the results. So I could copy this column and paste it here and then run the Remove Duplicates feature on this list, and I'll still have the original in case I need it. So I'm going to select a cell in this list, and on the ribbon I'll go to the Data tab, click Remove Duplicates, and this opens up a little window that tells me it's going to look at Column D and find duplicates there. The other thing I want to look at is my data has headers, and yes, mine does have a header in the first cell, so I'll put a check mark there, click OK, and a message appears that tells me how many duplicate values were removed and how many unique values are left. So when I click OK, I can see each item is listed only once, and I could leave the original list as is or delete it if I don't need it any longer. So that's working with one column. You could also work with two or more columns. On this sheet, I have the same products, and this time there's also a column with the unit price. They might have been sold at different prices. Sometimes there are multiple rows where the same price for the same product appears. So I'm going to get rid of the duplicates, and this time I'm going to click in one of the cells, click Remove Duplicates, and now it shows both column header names. And it's picked up that my data has headers, and that's because one of the columns has numbers and text in the first cell, so it's easier for Excel to detect that, yes, we do have headers this time. Now I have to decide if I want to look for duplicates in both of these columns or just one. So if I go with both, it's going to clear out all the duplicate product and unit price. If I uncheck unit price, it's going to just leave one of each product no matter what the price is. So here I can see that there's a carrot for $1.50 and a little further down one for $1.77. So only one of those would be left even though there's a different amount in the unit price column. So I'm going to click OK. It took out 814 duplicates, left me with 11 unique values. When I click OK, can see that the $1.50 carat, which was that first one, is left, and then the ones below that would have been deleted. Now this time I didn't make a backup, so if I want to undo what's just happened, I can go to the Quick Access Toolbar and click Undo. And the third option we'll look at is a multi-column table. I've got an ID number and a date that that was ordered, then the product and the price. If I want to just keep the latest prices, I can do that by sorting the list. So right now it's earliest date down to the latest. I can sort these dates in descending order, and that puts the most recent dates at the top. Now, if I delete the duplicates, because the most recent dates are at the top, the most recent price would be the one that's saved. So now carrot here is $1.77, if I had this one at $1.50, it should be removed. Every other carat below that should be removed, and we're just left with the latest product and price for each item. So to remove the duplicates, I'll click a cell, go to the Data tab, Remove Duplicates. Now we have the four columns. I'm going to uncheck the first two, which are those ID number and date. I'm interested in the product, and just like last time, I don't want to keep all the unit prices. I just want to keep the latest one, and that's why I sorted it. So now I'll click OK. 
and it's removed duplicates left me with just each product listed once and its latest price because of the way we have the data sorted. I'll undo that and I'm going to remove duplicates again but this time I'll remove those first two check marks but I'm going to leave product and unit price and that should give us a list with all of the different prices that have been entered for each product. So when I click OK now, it removed 802 values and left 23. They're currently listed by date. I'm going to sort by product. So there's arrow root and the dates remain in the reverse order. So we can see for arrow root, the different dates the price was changed. So some of these products might be listed multiple times, sometimes just once. Here's a product that's just listed once, but it's going to give us each different price that that product was sold for. And again, remember to make a backup copy of the file or the list before you work with the Remove Duplicates tool. For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.